Let's open the show with our trip to the Gail Borden Public Library. We'll learn about a young adult author festival upcoming. An Elgin Maroon class of 1948 internationally known now will return to town. And we'll open things up with an ability very important when you look for work. Hi, my name is Tom Hovati. I'm a human resource management consultant. And we are here today to talk about creating the perfect resume. Uh, we will be here on November 20th at 6.45 p.m. to discuss how to put together the proper resume. You know, a resume is a snapshot of what you do in your careers. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that everyone that comes in here will be able to bring in a resume and learn everything about themselves by putting together a resume. Of course, you know, we're going to be talking about the different types of resumes. We have chronological, we have functional, we have a combination of resumes. You know, a resume must be versatile for every type of job that you're bidding on. So we want to be able to show you that you might not need one resume, but a variety of resumes. Um, Having worked in HR all my career, I've seen many resumes. I've seen good ones. I've seen bad ones. And the thing is, if it's a good resume and it catches our attention, you know, you've got that step up on any other applicant. So we're going to talk a little bit. We're going to show you a few resumes here today to get you kind of started, get you excited about our little seminar. We're going to spend a, a, few, a few hours with you talking about things. Here today, I just wanted to show you a few of our resumes that we have here. We have, this is what I call a, not a really good one. It's all kind of all discombobulated, the dates are all over the place. It's kind of hard for me to follow. When I'm looking at a resume, the most important thing I'm looking at is I want everything set very clearly. I want the dates all on one side. I want all the history on the other. On this resume that I'm looking at, it's all over the place. And when I'm looking at hundreds of resumes for a, an application of a, of a position, I don't have a lot of time. So what we're going to help you learn is, you know, using action words, putting it in the right chronological order. On the other hand, I have a resume here where every, all the dates are very clearly listed along the left side and everything is in chronological order. For me, it makes it very easy for me to understand who you are, what you are, and why you're bidding on this position. So we're very excited about the prospect of coming here to the library and getting this together. And um, we'd like to see you on November 20th at 6.45 p.m. You can register at the Adult Information Desk or by calling 847-429-4680 or online at gailborden.info. I'm Lisa Ulasek and I'm the Outreach and Teen Services Coordinator here at the Gail Borden Library. We have some exciting events coming up that the at the library we'd like to tell you about. One of the most exciting is coming up on November 3rd and 4th. Um, it's the Young Adult Author Festival. It's taking place both in the U46 Public Schools as well as here at Gail Borden Public Library, Bartlett Public Library, and Poplar Creek Public Library in Streamwood. Uh, Gail Borden Public Library is pleased to welcome young adult author Gordon Corman on Monday, November 3rd at 7 p.m. We're going to actually be holding the event across the street at the Heritage Ballroom at the center of Elgin. Uh, Mr. Corman has written a variety of books, both for upper elementary and teenagers. He's very, very funny, and he's going to be talking both about writing, how he gets his ideas, and some of his books. Plus, there'll be a great chance afterwards to have book sales and signing. So we hope to see everybody there. It's free of charge, and we encourage you to turn out. The next night, we're going to actually have a graphic novelist at the library. That's Tuesday, November 4th, election night, 7 o'clock, and we're pleased to welcome Jill Thompson, who is the graphic novelist, author, and illustrator of the Scary Godmother series. So we really hope that um, some of the budding artists out there and uh, graphic novel aficionados will turn out for that, and again, that's free too. Um, so great opportunities to see some really world-famous authors here at the Gail Borden Public Library. Well, we have another exciting service here at the Gail Borden Library, Jeff, that I'd like to tell everybody about, and that's our new homework help service. It's powered by BrainFuse, and it's called Help Now. And best of all, it is absolutely free to anybody with a Gail Borden Public Library card. And what that is, is an online tutoring service. Uh, subjects include uh, language arts, social studies, science, and math. And if you're like me, um, I had a lot of math trouble as a kid, and I would have loved a service like this. Um, basically, how it works is you using a chat box and a whiteboard and you can ask these tutors online anytime between 2 p.m. and 11 p.m. at night any questions that you're having trouble with on your homework and they will walk you through it. So if there's a problem in math that's stumping you or maybe a science question or maybe you're trying to write a paper, um, the tutors will help you walk it through. And best of all, like I said, it's free. All you need is a Gail Borden Public Library card. So we'd encourage folks to use the service and if you have questions about it, just stop by a Gail Borden Public Library and learn more about it. Now, before we leave the library, let's look at this Elgin Maroon yearbook and the class of 1948 as we see young Marshall Goldman, second row, second from the right. 
Now, today he is Dr. Marshall Goldman, world-renowned authority on Russia and its economics, and author of Petrostate, Putin Power, and the New Russia. He will speak at the Gail Borden Library on Sunday, November 2nd at 2 p.m. Again, he's internationally known on his Russian knowledge, so this is a rare chance to see one of our own, class of 1948, Elgin High, Dr. Marshall Goldman at the library, Sunday, November 2nd at 2 p.m.